here we came back with a new episode if you are new and you are interested in my content go and hit the subscribe button to see more of my content and turn the notification bell to get notified for every episode I make let us take a quick journey to the space and let us take a look on our solar system and how it's beautiful and full of organized planets and moons and the biggest star in our solar system the sun if I asked you a question which of these objects do you think that it is the densest object? You may tell me of course one of the biggest objects like the sun or Jupiter the biggest planet in our solar system but let me shock you by the answer is that neither of the sun or Jupiter that are the biggest object in the solar system they are less than a quarter of the density of the earth yes as you heard my friend these planets and stars didn't reach to the quarter of the density of the earth but how? you might think by a different thought and say that the planets or objects that has a great proportion of the heaviest element is the densest but actually no if that was the case Mercury which is the smallest planet will be the densest one but above all that Earth is the densest and here why density is one of the simplest of the non-fundamental properties of matter and every object from the tiny one to the biggest one has an amount of energy that kept inside it as we already know it and call it by mass and this object occupies the amount of the space of the three dimension which we call it by the volume so we came with the density and said that it is the mass of the object divided by the volume that it occupies and if we walk together in a flashback to the beginning of the formation of our solar system from 4.5 billion years ago we would see a cloud of gas and dust and at some point this cloud collapsed over itself due to a shock wave from the explosion of a supernova star as this star made a great effect from its great explosion and we talked about it in the dark energy episode as the result of that collapsing a flat disk of dust and gas appeared and nuclear fusion occurs and the hydrogen fuses into helium but that only happens when enough material is collected at the center so then our sun was born and it gobbled up of 99.8 of all the materials and the materials that left behind the sun clumped together into bigger pieces and finally these clumps became dwarf planets, asteroids, moons and giant planets so if we look deeply inside our solar system we see that the eight planets are divided into two groups where the first four planets are called by the terrestrial planets that are close to the sun which means that they are composed of silicon rocks or metals and have a solid surface which that gives to these planets high density and the other four planets called as gas giants that are away from the sun which they are mainly composed of hydrogen, helium and water existing various physical state so yes they are great in mass as they are called by giants but they are gas giants which they are made from gases so their density is much less than the other four planets which are made from metals and has a high density and the density also has an important role in determining the gravity of any planet surface and this also helped us to understand how our planets were shaped and to recap all of that let's make a quick compare between the density of mercury Earth and Jupiter first Mercury as in fact Mercury is the second planet after Earth that has the biggest density as it composed of a great proportion of the heaviest elements of the periodic table and the effect of the gravitational compression but wait what is the gravitational compression it is simply a phenomena have a role to reduce the size or the mass of the object which increase its density as the density inversely with the volume so when the volume decreases, the density increases and vice versa so actually mercury is more dense than earth but with uncompressed density of 5.3 gram per centimeter cubic compared to earth which is 4.4 so let us go to earth why do you think it is the densest planet? the answer is simply that the earth is divided into layers and at the center of the earth there is a core which is composed of iron and nickel and there are the Earth's mantle and these are existing between the crust which is the outer layer of the Earth and the outer core that above the core of the center of the Earth 
and the mantle composed of viscous silicon material and a crust of solid silicon material. I know that we went deeply inside this, but for the summary that all what you heard about these layers makes the density of the earth very high. And finally Jupiter, its density is very low compared to Mercury and Earth. As I said recently that Jupiter from the gas giants which made from gases which give to it this density. For the summary my friends that we should not measure anything from their outer structure or shape. As you see how big is it? Like Jupiter as an example it made from gases. So you not always take by the outer shape in any other thing. You should examine what inside it. I hope you get any advantage from this episode and didn't get bored from all of these informations. I hope you like it and if you like it please give a like and subscribe for more and share it with your friends. And tell me in the comments your opinion about any other topic you want to discuss in the next episodes. That's it. Thanks for watching.